Jeremy Renner shares photo of physical therapy session and reveals he has suffered more than 30 broken bones after Star was almost crushed to death by 14,000 pound snowplow. Jeremy Renner shared a photo of his physical therapy session after he was nearly crushed to death by a 14,000 pound snowplow. Renner, 52, was seen in the photo with his hands folded over his stomach and his head tilted against the pillows of his hospital bed as a physical therapist bends his knee. The star S bed was positioned next to floor to ceiling windows, giving the Marvel actor a beautiful view to enjoy while he continues to recover. On Saturday, the actor remained hopeful that the 30 plus broken bones will mend, grow stronger, just like the love and bond with family and friends deepens. Renner was hit by a snowplow on January 1st while he was helping a family member S car out of the snow. He was airlifted to the hospital from his mansion near Lake Tahoe, Nevada. He was released from the hospital earlier this week and friends and family said it could take up to two years for the actor's injuries to fully heal. Despite Renner now learning a different definition to morning workouts, he said the tragedy, quickly focused into uniting actionable love. I want to thank everyone for their messages and thoughtfulness for my family and I, much love and appreciation to you all, he told his fans. Several celebrities sent Renner well wishes, including the likes of Chris Hemsworth and Heidi Klum. Hemsworth, who worked with Renner in the Avengers movies, wrote you re a champion mate. We love you. Klum wrote sending you love. Actress Aza Gonzalez wrote you got this J, while singer Sam Felt wrote sending much love mate. Renner S physical therapy is just the beginning of his continued healing process. Renner S representative said he had suffered blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries and was in a critical but stable condition after surgery. His friends said his injuries are much worse than feared and that he nearly bled out and almost died while waiting for help to arrive. It s much worse than anyone knows. Jeremy is very aware of the fact that he almost died out there, a source told Radar Online. The right side of Jeremy's chest was crushed, and his upper torso had collapsed. He also had a bad head wound that was bleeding and a leg injury. Jeremy was in a lot of pain, and was having difficulty breathing, a source told Radar Online. He knew he was in bad shape and that he might not make it out of this, the source said at the time. On a 911 recording, obtained by TMZ, showed Renner crying out in pain after the incident. In the audio clip the unidentified neighbor can be heard telling Renner to lay still repeatedly while the emergency call operator asks him questions. I need the address of the emergency please, the female operator can be heard saying to the male caller. I told you, the male caller says sounding frustrated as Renner continues to moan in agony in the background. I know, I just need to verify it, what is the phone number that you re-calling from, the female operator said. Immediately, somebody has been run over by a snowcat, hurry, he is heard saying. Okay. What is the phone you recalling from? Just in case we get disconnected, she says. Tell me exactly what happened, she is heard saying. The neighbor responded I don't know, someone is in front of my house and he got run over by a snowcat. He has been crushed. Phone paramedics, ambulance, he said, being interrupted by the operator who is heard saying everyone is on their way right now. A pause in the phone call gives way to the gurgling. Moans from Renner. I don't know I can tea tell, the neighbor says before explaining that Renner is crushed on his right side on his chest upper torso, and adds that his ribs may be crushed. He has got a head wound as well. Can you give me an ETA? He is heard saying in the recorded 911 call. It s hard to give an ETA just because the snow on the mountain I don't know how quick they re able to go, the female operator said as the neighbor explains that his breath is getting shorter. How s he doing? She is heard asking. Shallow breath, a lot of pain, he s conscious we have him covered in blankets, his head s covered, he ll be drifting off. Is he starting to kind of drift off into sleep? She asks, to which the neighbor responds yeah. The audio makes it clear that the 52-year-old was in need of life-saving equipment and had been crying out in agony for over 15 minutes. Renner was later airlifted to hospital from a private road blanketed in thick snow. Footage shows the emergency helicopter taking off from the winter landscape and disappearing behind snow-peaked mountains.